Hello everybody, I'll be representing group 12CW. Our project is about structural lightweight concrete. The main goal was to lower the weight of the concrete by 20 to 40% while maintaining the same strength. Copper slag and fiberglass were used as replacement for the sand. A mixture of both aggregates was also used in the concrete to be tested. We followed the ACI, which calculates how much cement, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates, and water needed for the mixture. So 50% of the fine aggregates were replaced by either copper slag or fiberglass. We also did a mixture with both copper slag and fiberglass, so we just took 25% of each aggregate. We followed the ASTM standards on how to test the concrete. That includes curing the concrete inside a water bath, and also solve for capping to distribute the load evenly. So we designed the strength of the traditional concrete to achieve 30 MPA at the 28 day mark. And looking at our results, it surpassed it. Our results determined that the traditional concrete achieved the highest compressive strength while fiberglass achieved the lowest compressive strength. However, that amount was the minimum required strength allowed for structural applications. We managed to reduce the weight of fiberglass by 10% while the rest of the mixture had comparable weights. The mixture with copper slag and fiberglass had the maximum tensile strength. We recommend using less fiberglass because during our mixing, we added more water into the mixture to achieve a better slump during the slump test. We also recommend using less copper slag since further re research was conducted and we found that less copper slag can achieve higher compressive strength. We selected these aggregates because research indicate that fiberglass and carbon fiber are used in structural lightweight purposes. Further research shows that fly ash can be used due to its lightweight properties while maintaining at least the minimum required strength. That's all for this project. Thanks for watching.